not want to touch the part there that you're going to spike. Also, you don't want to touch this part. So you're going to spike the bag. Now, when you spike the bag, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to prime all by itself. So you can go ahead and spike it and hang it up. You see nothing's dripping yet. So we kind of get stationary here because we're going to need our hands. And we're going to squeeze the chamber to get it halfway full. And this plum tubing, you have to prime upside down. So as you see, this is right side up. And this is going to be upside down. And what you do is you have to pull the white thing out in the back here. When you pull it out, the fluid's going to start to fill up. And as soon as it starts to spill over into the little circle, <laughs> you flip it. And I know it sounds kind of complicated, but it's not. The further you pull this out, the faster the fluid will go. So if you just want to pull it out a little bit, it'll give you a chance to watch it. you got to keep your eye on this. So I'll pull it out kind of slowly. And it's already spilling. I'm going to flip. Okay. As soon as you flip it, it's going to prime the rest of the way. And at this point, you could either wait and you could push the white cap back in to make the fluid stop, or you could go ahead and slide it in the pump and just close the pump to make the fluid stop. So this is a little hand grip, so it should show you that you can hold here to slide it into the pump. And then I'm going to wait for the fluid to get to the end here. A little pop, bubbles come to the top. And it is primed all the way, and I'm going to close it, maybe. Alright. This has a cap on the end of it, so I can just set it up here if I'd like to. It's not going to touch anything. Okay, so it's asking for the rate, and it's the rate of the primary. It, it tells you exactly what to do if you'll just follow the directions. It says press up or down and enter. So I'm going to press uh, up after I've checked my orders, and we'll say we'll put it 100 cc's an hour. So I'm going to go up to 100. It will move fast. It will move slow. Don't worry about it if you go over. 100. And then enter. Then it says dose limit. Dose limit means how much is in the bag. What, what do you want to set the pump for? What's the limit of the volume you want to set the pump for? So just like the Alaris, I'm going to set it for 900 because that's when the pump is going to beep at me and let me know it's about to be finished. So if I have a bag that has 1,000 cc's in it and I set it for 900, then at 900 it's going to beep. And that way, the whole tubing won't run dry before I have a chance to get it back. So 900 and enter. And this is asking me here to set secondary. And I'm going to say no right now because I'm not going to set secondary. So no, I'm not going to set a secondary. And then your primary is complete. So of course, you would wipe off, uh, flush your patient's IV, wipe it off, wipe it off, flush it, and you will uh, treat all the plastic in, and you will screw this into the patient and press start. And this is what it looks like when it's running. So this